welcome back to my channel. So first things first, I am so sorry I haven't posted the past two weeks. I have just been so busy in a new job and trying to juggle a job with a YouTube channel turned out to be harder than I pre-planned it to be. But um, we're getting there. I made a whole to-do list wasting more of my precious time procrastinating on how I can do it next week. So I'm trying, I am trying, but um, no, I thought I would film a video today on something a bit different, um, and I am wearing the most extra earrings ever. I just ordered them, and um, I thought they were gonna be a bit smaller, but uh, we're just gonna try and work it. Let me know what you think, but they're a little bit huge, but I have enough hair to just be like, no, we'll just, we'll just make those disappear. But um, anyway, <laughs> God, I ramble so easily. Today's video is going to be about the minerals I have found over, over my lifetime, the whole 21 years of it. So yeah, let's get to it. So the first one I'm going to talk about is the one I've been holding throughout the whole intro. <laughs> it's a piece of quartz I found when I was climbing Snowdon, um, which is a mountain in Wales, for those of you who might not know. Um, it's... Yeah, it was on a school trip and I remember being really cold and wet climbing this mountain and I start realizing there's bits of quartz everywhere and I start getting really excited. My bag triples in weight and uh, I have some lovely pieces of quartz now. So um, this one I love in particular because you've got all the, um, God, my mineral knowledge is terrible, uh, hexagonal spikes. <laughs> People comment down below and explain to me what I'm trying to say, please. But um, I just thought it's a really nice example of a piece of quartz. And I think it's from a vein because it's got like top and bottom there. Um, and it was just so pretty. And I love looking at this. This one actually sits on my desk with me rather than in my cabinets. Um, I did a video on my cabinets. I should do an updated one because they've got a bit more full now I'm back from uni because a lot of the specimens that I really liked, I had taken to uni with me. Um, so it was looking a bit empty, but that's that one. Then the next one I'll show you is this big one. So those of you who have been watching my channel previously, you would have seen when I found this. I was hunting for shark's teeth in Kent and um, I just saw this in a boulder and it's actually fossilized wood or like a root system. And then it's got a mineral that's sort of been deposited on top of it, but it kind of looks bubbly. Um, so I really liked that about it and someone did tell me what this was because um, I wasn't actually sure when I found it and someone commented I think it was uh, don't know how to pronounce it Chaldony Chalconody That is completely wrong. I'll write it on the screen here and you guys can laugh at me trying to pronounce it But um, I just think it's a really nice piece Because um, it's quite unusual. I think anyway then the next one I've got is this one. Now I found this when I was really young and I don't actually remember where or when, um, which is really unhelpful when I'm trying to work out what it is I found. So if any of you have any ideas, but it's just this piece of rock here and it's got some nice crystals going on inside it. Um, so it's just kind of like a funky piece. Um, I remember finding it and being really excited and I, I think it might have been abroad even, but um, I can't remember. But I just, yeah, when I was little, I used to just love looking into like the crystal holes thinking like, wow, so cool. <laughs> but that's that one. Then this one is actually, I think, salt crystal. Um, or I found it on a beach. So there is the other half to it. And my granddad used to teach me and my mum how to find them. We would go around the beach lifting up rocks and like weighing them. <laughs> and if it felt lighter than it should he'd crack it open for us. And he was, he wouldn't even use a hammer. He would just use another rock and, and uh, sometimes they'd break in half, sometimes they'd break into more. But um, <laughs> I just really like it. And I love how spiky it is. I think it's really something. So um, I love that piece. But again, I need to, I need to do some more research into minerals because I find them beautiful and I love them, but I don't know lots about them because you know, I'm all about the fossils, but they're definitely fascinating. So I think I'm going to branch out into into them as a bit of a hobby. Now this one, I can't remember for the life of me where I found this. I found this with my cousins um, and it's got these like square minerals on it. Um, if it focuses. So it's kind of weird and wonderful. Stop focusing on my face. Is it focused? No, hello. There we go. This is really heavy to hold like this. <laughs> but um, I just love how weird it is. It's just long and pretty. Um, and the other side of it, if you guys need to see this bit to work out what it might be. But um, I just thought that's really cool how they're cubes. 
I find it fascinating. And it's sparkly, which is probably what drew me to it to start with, because I'm a bit of a magpie. Anything that shines, I want it. <laughs> Just take these earrings aren't exactly subtle, are they? But um, yeah, so they're the minerals that I've found and some of my favourite ones. I just wanted to do kind of like a quick video showcasing them. I do have other minerals that I haven't found, some that I've got some minerals for like 50p from boot sales before um, when I was younger. Literally anything to do with geology, I was just like, ah, oh, I must have it. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll do another video on ones I've bought but are still really precious to me um, if you guys would be interested. But I was thinking, right, so over the next few weeks I want to be getting videos out for you guys more often so if you have any you know questions for me all about geology and paleontology maybe something about a certain fossil or how fossils form or you know stuff like that I'd love to do videos answering those questions where I get to do like a bit of my own research if I need to you know work it out and I can kind of do a educational series where I answer all your funky questions it was just an idea I had that I would find quite fun to watch like basically people asking curious questions and finding the answers. So if you've got any dying questions, please let me know in the comments. I'd be really intrigued to see them and hopefully get around to answering them. But yeah, that's today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. I'll link my Instagram down below and yeah, hopefully I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.